That was a good one for you. I was, I was asked to play the gig the, the weekend. The Ivy Gardens. Uh, yeah, Bournemouth's Comedy Festival, I think it was. Got to the dressing room, it was a joke. There's no facilities. There's no red nose, there's no Groucho Marx class, nothing. Uh, anyway, uh, Irish comedy. Irish comedy's a joke. I'm not in a good way. I went to see Timmy Tiernan there at the weekend. Cost me intrigues a fortune. Didn't laugh once. Well, that's not comedy, that's just taking the piss. Just get up, tell a joke, wait for applause and sit down. Well, oh, everyone's laughing at him. This fella's making fools of them. Tell them that they're fat and they're no good in bed. Everyone's laughing. Just making it up as he went along. No preparation. It's typical. Typical Irish attitude to everything. So I went right down the front and I sat there right in the middle so he'd pick on me and see what he gets. So I'm sitting there waiting for him. And I go upstairs to Roy King. And he asks me, am I the front end of a donkey? Well, he asks me, am I the back end of a donkey? He says, no. So he says, that means you must be no end of a donkey. I was furious. I didn't know what to do. It's the way it goes, I suppose. You deal with it, you move on. Four months later, and I still couldn't get it out of my head. So uh, I went to see the gaffer. I didn't have a clue what he was on about, but uh, eventually I figured it out. So I go back to Vicar Street five years later now, and I sit down at the front, and there he comes back on, and he sees me again. So oh, that's Roy Keane, he says, but this time I was ready for him. I jumped up on stage and came down on his ankle hard with my studs. Didn't hear much from him after that. <laughs> <laughs>